presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, comment parlez -vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So, well, we appreciate uh, your ground one problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I've done gold Reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it. Generational thank you. you are, thank stuff. you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 127, NASDAQ up 12, S&P's off 5.5, gold. Gold contract down $3.60, trading at 1931 an ounce. We have silver down 28 cents, $23.11 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 26 cents, $88.58 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note. Down five ticks, trading 110.01. The 30-year down 10 at 119.24 in King Dollar. King Dollar trading up 79 ticks at 104. Excuse me, folks, 789. The euro is at 107. The yen's at 147. The British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. I want to show you here when the number, the CPI came out this morning, right? You got to check this out because all the markets moved and you had rejections all over the place. So you take a look at this. We came out at 8.30 this morning. You know, you had the S&Ps shoot all the way down to this uh, 4495. It said, nope, I'm not going to stay there. Gets all the way back up to... Um, 4530 right now we're trading at 4508 so we're going to the spy we're going to the spy next and what you're going to see inside the spy is that the bottom line is that yeah you know you get lower price and you know you get an even volume man i mean you know what, what we did have yesterday is that we had light volume yesterday but volume did come in at the close you can see that 67 million now you're going against 83 as well as 70. You know, so we'll see what ends up happening at the close today, because they, they threw some volume in at the close. We go to the Qs. Let's go to the NQs first. You're going to see the same setup. This, this market, the correlations in this market right now are amazing. You know, there's the, you know, the NDX number first come out, because all the way down to the 15,406, just taste, you know, was there for a second, bang, all the way up to 15,619, okay, so you got... 210, 15, 210 points. And right now we're trading up uh, 16 points, 15,517. We go to the Qs. You take a look at the Qs. Same type of setup in the Qs. You know, you get 37 million today. Yesterday we did 41. So that, that has some volume, you know, but it looks like the Qs basically want to close above this. Uh, we're at 373.34. It looks like they want to close above the low of yesterday, which is the 372.50. Notes and bonds. Now watch this one. Uh, why did you see what this the note and bond market did, man? Holy cow! This is this dove. This took a deep dive, man. Look at that deep dive. It took a deep dive to 109.03, and you're at 110.01. Now that's a full point for the 10-year, which is almost unheard of, folks. Okay. And, you know, but the bottom line, that's what it is. And when we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that, you know, you get a rejection of lower price. You broke, was it 09? Yeah, you broke the, the lower swing. 
Um, but guess what? Well, here, and I'll, let me show you this, because that was still going into 200 and something. What is this one here? Well, that was 900. The strength was 2.7 2 million. If you went into that, blew it all away, and then see, you don't want to be a, took off topside. The 10 year right now is yielding 4.23. The high is 4.33. Is that for the year or two? Yeah, it is, 4.33. We take a look at the 30 year. So 30 year did the same thing. Look at this thing, oh my God. 30 year goes down to 118.08. You trade now 119.25. Same type of setup, but 30 year didn't break, break the low. You know, they want higher price, man. That's the bottom line. Oh, and here, you got to watch gold. This was, like, amazing. So gold got down to 1927. It's trading, then it went up to 1935. It's trading 1931. We take a look at this right now. Yeah, and you're still going against right there. As we're going against the strength. And that strength, so we get 152,000 contracts, and you're going against 170,000 and 167,000. And we know we're going now. Where are we going? <laughs> this this one blows. You know, it, this is it's been it's it's so cool, man. It's actually blowing my mind, but. You know, the, the correlation is so amazing. And I don't know what the market's waiting for. I mean, I know what the market's waiting for. It's the market's waiting for what the heck is this dollar going to do? Because this is the magic number, man. I mean, it's a magic number, too. And you don't see this too often. I've, I've seen it, you know, maybe once or twice. I've seen it probably more than that. But this 104.699 is a magic number, folks. You know, above it, bottom line, Market wants lower price. Below it, market's going to explode topside. So right there, you know, the bulls and bears are fighting every single day. You know, we got below it again today. That's when the, you know, the S&Ps were higher. As soon as that starts going up again, S&Ps go lower. So it's a, it's a total direct relationship. Um, pretty amazing. And it is what it is. So you can, we, we know we're going to get the break one way or the other. The, the amazing part is that the market has just stalled here also, even with the CPI. The CPI, you know, one-tenth of a percent, it, it, it shook it off in about a second. That's what was pretty amazing. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 134. You get the NASDAQ up four, S&P's down seven. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 115, NASDAQ's up 18, S&P's off 3.5. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see what we have here. I mean, you, you really get a sideways market. There's not much happening, which which we've been in, you know, since the first leg down. I mean, you take a look at this right now. We're three weeks into this right now. So you take a look at it. We have um, Microsoft putting 21 positive points. You get uh, Goldman putting 20. Honeywell putting 11, taken away from it. You get uh, Caterpillar minus 52, 3M minus 42, and uh, Salesforce minus 20. Inside the NDX 100. We take a look at it. You got uh, Moderna is up 3%. Synapsis is up 2.5. Cadence is up 2. Amazon's up 1.9. Taken away from it. Netflix is down 5.2. That's a big number there. Okay, we'll go back to that. You got Siri off uh, 2.9, and Pace Car is off uh, 2.3. Let's go to let me look at Netflix first. I can't help with that. Well, I know you can't. <laughs> My God, that's too funny. So Netflix, Netflix is getting hit out here. That's with some volume too. So what do they have to say? Uh, what's happening here? Netflix CEO. I don't know. I guess they don't like the Netflix CFO says we're in games for the long time with 70 titles released. It's hard to return on billion. It's hard to see returns on billions of dollars. I don't know. The market doesn't like that. They're getting into you know. Games, I guess. That's how this is shaking out. Um, let's go over to Apple because, uh, you know, they had their dog and pony show. That didn't go too great. Yeah, this is still pushing wood volume. This is, you know, you're down a buck 46 today or 174. And the next time we come out with numbers is October 27th. And they're going to be looking for, let's see what they're looking for. They're looking for 89 million and a dollar 39. You know what's so intriguing, man, is that you know that you get the aspects of picture. That you get President G over there, right, has cracked down on everything. But he's basically, you know, when the crackdown's taking place, of course, that's messing with the economy. And, you know, you had Foxconn, you have Foxconn, and of course Foxconn, 
puts so many people to work, and you know, all these phones have been made in China for yet forever, and now they're gonna ban Apple out of the state-sponsored companies, which is, there's a huge amount, right? And you can see that, you know, Apple's moved a lot of their uh, production over to Vietnam, and now this is the first time that uh, these new phones that are coming out, they're gonna come out of India also. So there's a lot of moving pieces right now for Apple. You know, uh, they continue to raise prices, though. That's, that's the real bottom line. You know, I don't like to chart, but it's, it's a mind blow how they can continue to raise prices. If you didn't, there's a, there's a great article on, on um, either Bloomberg or the Wall Street Journal. And what it is is this. I mean, Apple is as bad as the airlines. They, what happened is this, is that the European Union made them change to these universal cords, right? So Apple, what does Apple do? Apple has all these adapters that are, you know, only $24 and all of this stuff, but it's gonna add up to billions of dollars. Um, they had it broken down. You know, if you wanna plug this into this, you can use this one, that's $24. You wanna plug this into this, it's another $24. It's, they're just all over the place, man. I mean, and by the $24, but they have so many millions of customers, you know, you're going to see where that's going to go, which is just amazing. Let's go and take a look at Amazon because, uh, you know, we're getting, I'm going to start talking about the holidays, no doubt. And, you know, you get Amazon right now up 280. When's the next time they're coming out? Now, they're coming out with numbers. Another 27 too. So this is, you know, it's interesting. I mean, it's, uh, Amazon's only 144, but that is the 52-week high. So Amazon's going to be looking to do 141 million and bring 58 cents to the bottom line. Now, Amazon's still growing. Look at this. They're still growing at 7% per year in North America, 5.5% internationally. Web service is growing by approximately 10% a year. <laughs> Big numbers, man. Huge numbers. Cadence, MDX. Let me get Cadence because we know we got Jose. That's his stock. I believe that's, yeah, Cadence Design. Let's take a look. CDNS. So they're coming out to 24. The low is 138. The high is 248. Yeah, this is, this, this could use some more volume, but. Yeah, so this is going to get, so th these, you know, they do the design for the automated software for the chip business, folks. And, you know, they've always been making money hand over fist. So look at this. In five years, five years ago, they did $2.3 billion. This year, $4.1 billion. Next quarter, they plan on this is going to be $1 billion for the quarter. And at buck twenty-two, they're growing at five percent a year in America, six percent a year in Asia. You know, so and Microsoft. We've got to go to Microsoft because Microsoft, same deal. You know, you're talking about that's up three thirty-nine. Now they're going to be coming out the twenty-fifth of October. They're going to be looking to take uh, fifty-four billion to the top line and two sixty-four to the bottom line. Let me take a look at this. Yeah, this is this is like the S and P, really. You know what has happened though is that see we we spiked the high. Let me pull this back even more. Put this on a monthly. Okay, so we spiked the high. Yeah, it's about, it, this is just building cause, man. I mean, it went, it was a one-way move from two, 213 to f 366. So, you know, right now, this this got to go sideways. It's healthy if it goes sideways three, four, five, six months. You know, that's, that is a healthy market. You know, if, a healthy equity also, if you, you go higher, you have volume when you go higher, you pull back, you're pulling back with light volume, and then you just kind of move sideways.
up and down, up and down, up and down. The mind blower about the, oh, the market right now. Let me go to the oil market now. I'll start out with the next segment with the oil too. Let's see the oil because the oil is not backing down. 309,000 contracts today. We're at 88. You still get pretty good volume up there, man. It's intriguing. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrial is trading up 107, down 107. That's up 27 S&Ps is down two. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now down to 101. NASDAQ is up 34. S&P is a flat. And you know, this is so back to office, folks. <laughs> You know, when you look at these office buildings, I just don't, uh, there's not going to be a lot of people back to office. So check this. This is pretty intense. Now, this is in New York City. Um, so Blackstone uh, has 308 million mortgage on a Manhattan uh, office building, let's say uh, 1740 Broadway. Um, they stopped paying their bills two years ago. 
So now this loan is going to, you know, go out um, for, you know, bid basically. Um, but listen to this. This is the the amount. Well, two different things end up happening. In the commercial office space, this is what's amazing. It, it, this will blow your mind. You know, we know that in the the residential space, right? Yeah, you can get in with Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, 5% or something, but most people are in like 20% down, right? Well, the commercial space, when rates are really like at zero or 2%, right? <laughs> they, these banks were giving out notes that, you know, if the appraisal was high, high enough. So picture this. Picture if you had something, you know, that you're, you're figuring... You're buying it at 500, you think it can appraise it higher than that. The bottom line is that they hardly have had any cash in the deal. But now watch this. This is just amazing to me. Okay. The mortgage on 1740 Broadway is transferred to a special servicer in March. The borrower stated it would no longer fund property operating shortfalls. The 26 story building between 55th and 56th was appraised for. 175 million in April. Okay, that's April of 2023. Do you know what this was appraised for in 2014? Just take a guess. Just say a quiet guess to yourself. 605 million. So, 605 million in 2014, 175 million this past April. And this has happened to a lot of commercial you know, big, big buildings. That, what happens with a big building, of course, is that, you know, if you, well, if there's no more people coming back to the office and, you know, even the demographics in the United States right now are not conducive to huge amounts of folks coming into the office or just period growing, you know, this, it's, it's a huge problem, man. It's a particularly huge problem in big cities um, that have a huge amount of commercial. Now, listen to this. This is really wild. St. Petersburg, right, Florida. Now, we were at a detriment like five or six years ago. You know, I say a detriment. We really weren't at a detriment. Everyone was moving here. But I felt we were at a detriment in the context that we didn't have a lot of commercial office buildings, right? Well, that turned out to be like heaven sent because the buildings that are here are almost fully occupied because you don't have a lot of them, right? And who would ever think that that is the way that, you know, this thing came down? It's, it's actually amazing because if you ever saw the aspect of a commercial real estate developer versus a residential real estate developer. The commercial developers, I mean, made hundreds of millions more than residentials. That's, that's, that's just how it goes. I mean, um, and now, you know, bottom line, and this is, this, is a, this is a lesson that, you know, I think people got trapped in and they think it, would, it could never happen. And guess what? It did. And the, you do have the aspect of when the buildings get cheap enough, they will get turned into residential. But, man, they're going to have to get really cheap because in order to take a commercial building and make it a residential building, you have to gut the whole thing. So that's, that in itself is insane. It's just it's, it's an amazing story, man. And we're just at the beginning of it. Right now, the default rate on commercial buildings is 5%. You know, and that, you know, that's average. So, so that's a huge number. And, you know, we'll see where the rest of this is going to go. But uh, that is a very large number. And triple nets, the whole ball of wax. And the, the, the problem, the larger problem, that's why so many keys are going to get put back, is that the banks, the amount of money that the banks actually lent is insane. I mean, they, they lent, yeah, you know, whether it's 80, 
percent, but they're lending 80 percent on a high valuation. And so, you know, bottom line is that you lose a few tenants. That's it. It's over. So we're going to see uh, a lot of things happening, man, you know, and we'll see how long it takes. You know, the banks are going to be able to do the same deal, you know, kick the barrel down the deal. Right now, they don't they still don't have to mock these things to market. So, you know, if you if you saw the uh, big shot, um, I can tell you, you know, I wouldn't necessarily just go shot the commercial market because the big shot when they knew that the residential was even already blown up. They still went through heartache for about a year and a half to two years because the system is basically corrupt. <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line. And, you know, they, they worked it as long as they could, and then, yeah, then, then it fell apart. So I can imagine inside the, the commercial area of it, you know, they're going to be messing with those loans for as long as they can, meaning not marking them to market, meaning on the books, KRE. So, no, let's go to this because it's going to be all the small, it's going to be the community banks that have these. So if you look at the KRE, the Regional Banking Index, you know, you're at 43. This is hanging tough. I mean, and this is going to be one of these deals, man, that... Yeah, it has a high volume low right here at the 34, but guess what? They're going to bleed this thing and go. I bet that the, the, the valuation of the fundamental valuation of those banks that are inside the regional, you know, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't trust those numbers for a second. Meaning that, yeah, they're saying, I have a fundamental valuation at this. Well, guess what? That's because you're not mocking the 500 million that you've given out in commercial loans. And, you know, you haven't had it mocked up to market yet. Let's go take a look at the GDX inside the gold. Um, it's still hanging tough, man. You know, only 7 million shares backing out today. Sideways move. You know, the whole, the whole market is a sideways move. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 77 to get the Nasdaq up 37. S&P's up two. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger Zen, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Down Industrials right now trading down 71. Nasdaq's up 40. S&P's up 3.5. Let's go over to the silver market, take a look at silver and see what we have out here. First, the silver contract. So the contract itself, is it 47,000 contracts today? I see this. That's going into 52. Let's go to the SLV. I'll get a better understanding because that's a roll in between that. So the SLV, which is the ETF for the silver contract, they're coming into. 16 million doing 10. Yeah, this still needs more volume, you know, not a really breakdown. You know, when we were doing this, uh, the gold webinar, what had happened is that silver looked stronger than gold on the dailies and the weeklies. However, you go to the monthlies and it's much weaker than the gold contract. So it's something you want to keep your head wrapped around. Um, let's go look at the GLD because it was substantial. It was really substantial, the difference. Yeah, you get the GLD. This already, yeah, you're coming into 7.9 million to only 3.4. 3 you know, the GLD still wants this. Uh, I got that right? 184 and then we go to the GDX yeah it's just sideways sideways all day here as that dollar decides what it wants to do that's what it really come down to oh I know we got to go to oil that's that's we I hit the oil contract first now let's do the XLE so the XLE or at 98.18 let me put this on weekly then I'm gonna put it on a monthly so I see you laying right at those highs interesting man now let's go a monthly okay well last month we had some volume you're pushing with volume you know the high spike from about a year ago was 300 and no 520 and we did 417 last month it's not bad because the high itself has no volume at all you know on the XLA which is that $90 level let me see if that was the high yeah that was the high I mean if you want to see price and volume and see how it works <laughs> this is just a classic. I mean, when we went up there, so picture, we went up there at a 90. I mean, the volume, you talk about a drop down, 181 million. It was taking out the swing point of 670 million. And then it went from 90 all the way down to 22. How's that? Now, look at the difference. Now, this is pretty cool. 
If you look at the difference, that's, this is not the same setup when we went up to the high before. You can see right down here, you, you're getting a little juice. You know, we'll see whether it falls apart when it gets up there, but at this particular point, you're still getting a little juice. We go take a look at XOM, Exxon Mobil. She's climbing the wall, of worry. Yeah, Chevron. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, kind of the same deal. NVDA, let's good see what uh, good old NVIDIA is doing. 455. You had Elon Musk out here today talking about, uh, where is he? He was talking about artificial intelligence. When there's something that is a potential damage to the public, you want to have some oversight, Musk tells reporters. You know, this artificial intelligence is pretty intense stuff, folks. There's no, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, the, the, my take is that they're never going to be able to get ahead of it. They can't even get, you know, you, you talk to these congressmen or senators, and you know if you watch any of these things, they don't even really know how, you know, technology works. Never mind AI. I mean, you know, this AI deal is going so fast and so furious, it's unbelievable. You know, so and I'd like to know what specifically, you know, they, all these AI folks, they're all turning around and saying that, you know, it could potential damage to the public. But what I'd like to know is that, well, specifically what it is. Are they talking about the aspect of, you know, drones? that, you know, are armed and that could basically, you know, have, have some problems. You know, what are they talking about? Because it, it, they don't come and say out, okay, what is the potential problem? It's like, okay, we, you know, there's a danger. Okay, well, tell us what you think is the first dangers. You know, disinformation we've had for a long period of time. We're going to have that. That's, that's going to be go exponential um, as to what's real and what's not real because of the fact that uh, AI itself can make everything about as real as you can, you know, I'm not quite sure how people are actually going to check to see whether things are real, you know. So disinformation has been out here for a long time, though. The, you know, one of, the, one of these reporters will hopefully ask them the right question and say, okay, what is the potential danger? I, I heard them with uh, Musk this morning. It was like, okay. It was a one-liner. He says, oh, I got to get going. I got to go talk to the FAA. I got to go talk to Kevin McCarthy. It's like, okay. <laughs> you know. And you know, the, you, know what the, you know what's really a heads up? If you read this article about Musk satellites, though, you know, <laughs> those satellites he has, I mean, Musk is probably the, yeah, I'd say he's definitely one of the most powerful people in the world just for those satellites because in the context of bringing communications down and bringing them up there's nothing like satellites man i mean there's no doubt you know the you may have the after world war ii there was this radio operator and he knew from being in world war ii that he always had to take the high ground so the radio would work better right well, he ended up coming back to California, and at that time, you could buy mountaintops in California. And he bought as many mountaintops as he could get hold of, and he ended up being, you know, I don't know if he was a billionaire, but he is a multimillionaire because of the fact that um, everything turns to communications after that. Now, you can imagine Musk with his low satellites everywhere. You know, you try to take out the communication system, well, guess what? You know? He's got thousands and thousands of them. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 84. Nasdaq's uh, up 30. S&P's up one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's down 75, Nasdaq's up 34, S&P's down 2.5, and, and 3M. 3M decided that uh, they're putting off, spinning off their health care, and look at that stock, man. I mean, it's a one-way route on the way down. It's down 6%. This was intraday here. Look at that thing. So, market didn't like that, that's for sure. Let's put this on a monthly, see what we got. Whoa. Oh, I see. Yeah, here it goes. This is... Yeah, 259 to 101. And the low that's out here is 93. That's pretty intense, man. And if you take a look at the numbers here, so number-wise, oh, yeah, they're contracting. Wow. Yeah, they're contracting big time. They did $32 billion five years ago. They're only going to do 31.9 this year. Looks like they want to, you know, do a little bit more next year. But uh, bottom line is that that market's not liking that they're not spinning that uh, health care off. You know, health care, you know, let's go to UNH. I mean, you know, it, it's they, they've got away with making everything so non-transparent in health care. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. And we're paying for it every single day. And that's why I see United Healthcare, all of these. They're just printing money, man. You don't even know what your bills are. You know, bottom line, you get a pill that's, you know, a fortune. I mean, just look at this. So United Healthcare did 242 
242 billion, that is, five years ago. Now they're doing 367 billion. They plan on doing 393 billion next year. <laughs> oh, man. That's, I, I shouldn't be laughing, man, because we're paying for it in, in a monster way. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. You can see the CPI. Market took it in stride, man. No big deal. We're still going sideways. Dow, right now, down 61. NASDAQ off 37. S&P's off 4. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Look at them, folks. <laughs>